light of this area. And the demand of these areas, are, they are not even much. We are only talking about lighting needs. Yeah. People in the rural areas of this country have no need for super air conditioners. Some of these things that you know, take up much power. They have very few needs for you know, power. So we're talking about low capacities here. And we have also, in the ministry, devised a means how we can reach it. As you all know, if you come into Nigeria and you are trying to establish a generation company, yeah. If you generate above one megawatt, you have to go through the licensing and regulatory process. Yeah. Yeah. And oftentimes that takes about 18 months. The time we don't have, we don't have that 18 months, giving our mandate to electrify Nigeria to deliver power to the people as fast as possible. So, what have we done? We have decided to step down on the capacity needs that we want to take to the communities. Yeah. We're talking about you know, deploying a few hundred kilowatts, less yeah. than one megawatt to avoid the regulatory and licensing problems. So that's why we are asking investors to come in. You know, and now there's also an issue of how to fund it because a lot of investors, I'm sure you at the back of your mind, you say, oh yeah, how, yeah. how are you going to pay for this? Yeah. Or how do we rip up our return on investment? Now, this is the issue. We all understand this. We will develop some pilot programs okay. with the help of some investors. And if indeed this goes through, we will request from you. If you're coming in, we are giving you a, we are awarding you a contract. We will request that for every ten contracts that you get, every ten communities that you light up, we need for you to light up two communities pro bono. It's gonna be a concession. Yeah, we're gonna be asking from investors who come to invest in Nigeria. And this we plan to deliver. The first phase of this is going to be delivered by December of this year. The next phase will be by June. And we are lighting up about 30, uh, 232 local government. There are 774 local government areas in Nigeria. We take 30% of that. That's about 232. We are lighting up this in Nigeria. And we are taking about four communities of our local government area. So we, it could be more than that. But yeah, we want right. to take what we can. We want to buy what we can chew. Okay. And that's what, where we're going now. So if you guys have a worry, as, as it is, we are asking investors to come partner with us. Okay. Okay. We, 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 the, the policy is being drafted. We are almost at the completion rate where we are creating an enabling environment to empower our partners, who, to assure them of how they are going to recoup their money in their return on investment. That is being currently done. But you know, aside from that, we are not going to wait until that is done before going to the local area. Imagine if we lit up local communities by December this year. In Nigeria, we have a thing with celebrating Christmas. Yeah. People celebrating Christmas yeah, with light. Sure. And we, we are gearing for that. We are working as, as fast as we could to make sure that this is delivered. So that's why we are asking you guys who have the technology to come partner with us. Okay. Uh, we come partner with us, just come into the ministry, come and see what we are doing and see how you can help. Um, we are planning a technology exhibition for sometime in November where we invite in investors to come in, showcase their technology and we tell them what we have. This is the story I'm telling you now. It's a story we're going to tell again. Yeah. We tell the story and we tell them what we have. However, most importantly, the funding issue. How do we intend to fund it? And how does an investor recoup uh, their return on investment? So all these things will completely be addressed. But one other thing that we want to know, as you come to us, you come to us with information on the cost. How much capacity you intend to deliver, the cost and not the sustainability, this worries us. And also the maintenance, because in this country, we are having a little, we are beginning to introduce the you know, um, <laughs> maintenance culture. So we need to see all these things so we can see a clear picture of where you are going. So you can also understand that you've got communication matters. And that's actually what we are planning to do. So I hope I have. Yeah, do you have any other questions? Yeah. I hope I have addressed so that. So appreciate it. So if you, I gave you my card, and yes. um, if you get in touch with me, I'll give you a lot of information. And I uh, keep in touch. We can also invite you. I need your information so we can send an official letter to you to be to come be partners. Can we? Can we at some stage? Be invited to attend one yeah, of your specific expos or, or, or conferences where you're planning what you're going to do. That's exactly, that's, where, yes. so that's exactly what I was trying to address. That conference or exhibition will hold sometime in, uh, about 18th of November. Yes, yes. And what I'm asking is that you send me your information so we can formally send you an invitation letter inviting you to this exhibition where you can come and see what we're doing and be part of this. And in the meantime, I was also sharing with the audience here what they need to be prepared with as they come talk to us. Mm -hmm. They should come with some information talking to us about the sustainability and cost of this uh, uh, of their technology, what it's going to cost, and the capacity, and, how, and also the lead time, which is very important to us, the lead time, how long it's going to take to deploy. And we need to know all this information. But we welcome every participant or any investor to come partner with us. We're looking for partners, and we welcome all.
the more they did, 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 they and I know, okay, he is within uh, South Africa and uh, South, South Africa. So I'll send it so you can actually broadcast it. It will be nice, broadcast to everyone. So uh, yeah. you have my, you have this actually by the end of today. Okay. I'll send you a, a, a mini information, just anything that would help you to broadcast by the end of the day. You have this information by the end of the day. Because we are running against time, so we are. Uh, well, you can you can see that we're serious. We are. No, no, I, 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 I yeah. do. I, you can. I, I need. I needed this two years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so this is something that we need. No, we really need, and we are working hard now to just to make this happen. We have so a lot of experience that we built up in South Africa. Already. We welcome you. Come yes. partner with us. This is something that we've been soliciting for. So we welcome you to come. Come visit us if you have time before you go head back to South Africa. I'm extending an invitation Why, to you. And yeah, bring it. Until yeah. Until next week. Go, no, please come to the ministry. Come yes. visit us tomorrow. Just give me a call. I'll schedule a meeting. Just come on in and you will we'll sit down with the minister. We'll come. That. Will you organize? Yes, mm -hmm. I'll organize. Yeah. We'll, we'll, please give me a call. You have my card. No. Yeah, just come. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, and right. we can actually, you can have a clearer picture yes. of where we're going with yes. this. Yes. So, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. So, yeah, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you.